Hello, this is Eric Kirk for MamaWorld.com and welcome to our series of mini tutorials about Mocha Import Plus. This part shows the Stabilize function. Stabilization with Mocha Import Plus gives you a lot of control over the stabilization result. First of all, by tracking different areas of your clip, you can achieve different stabilization effects. In this chairlift clip, for example, we can either track the background or the chair. If we track the chair, the stabilization keeps the chair locked off and the background is moving. This gives the viewer the impression that he is sitting in the chairlift. If we track the background instead, the background is nicely stabilized and the chairlift is moving. This gives the impression that the camera is disconnected from the chairlift and the entire clip feels less shaky. Usually it is a good idea to choose a part of the background as the tracking region. After you have tracked some region of the clip, you export the tracking data as transform data, copy it to the clipboard, and load it into Mocha Import Plus. Then you select the layer you want to stabilize and apply the stabilize function. If the tracked region should be 100% locked off, you can choose the option to eliminate the movement completely. But for most stabilization tasks, it is better to just smooth the camera movement. This gives you a stabilization rig with a new layer called Stabilization Controls. The Stabilization Controls allow you to set the smoothness for position, scale, and rotation independently. Sometimes you want to get rid of some aspect of the movement completely. If you have a pan from left to right, for example, but the camera also moves a little bit up and down, then you probably want to smooth the movement from left to right, but you want to get rid of the up and down movement completely. You can achieve this by enabling the Lock Y option. For our chairlift clip, we enable the Lock Rotation option. This means the tracked background will not rotate anymore, but is still moving. If we also lock X and Y, the background is completely locked off like a still image. To get rid of the black borders, we can use our zoom slider. Alternatively, we can duplicate our footage layer and move the copies a bit backwards or forwards in time. That's it for now. We'll see you next time, folks.